Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got something I'd like to share with you from Signal, but because I'm recording it on my laptop, uh, laptop, I'm recording it on my tablet, and I'm just going to let it sit right there, and because i got to use my magnifying lens to do this, and I don't want you to see me using my magnifying lens, because then you'd see a great big eyeball. <laughs> okay. This was posted by our sister in Christ, Sarah, that's on Grafted in Team Jesus. And she's our latest, newest member. She's been on a while <clears throat> now. She's, uh, she titles it, Understand This. This is the part of the gospel where most people stumble. To be a saved person and to be an overcomer are two very different things. After we've been born again... There is that victor's crown for which we must run. 1 Corinthians 9.24 says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receives the prize, so run that you may obtain. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Temperate. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. In other words, we're running our race to get an incorruptible crown. All right. Verse 26. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beats the air, but I keep under my body and bring it under subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That's right. To claim the victor's crown, now this is her, Sarah's words. To claim the victor's crown of the overcomer without finishing your course is like an athlete claiming the golden medal without finishing the race. Now you know that would never happen. So why should we think, now this is me talking, why should we think that we can run the race until we're like 60 or, you know, 50, whatever. And then you lay back and take it easy and you start watching more and more TV and get led astray by the news and so on and so forth. How many people? I can tell you. Because I live in a retirement home. Have done that. They don't preach. They don't go to church because they're not driving anymore. They're just totally in the world here not like before I don't know what kind of lives they lived, lived before I just know they're all marked moving on all right I gotta get this magnifying glass glass just right all right I have to make scroll it up a little bit just bear with me I'm trying my best to bring you a better looking video all right, the same is true of those who falsely claim that the old man is... Make sure I didn't loot. Um, okay, I missed a part. May we all be able to declare by the grace of God and according to what he worked in us and enabled us to accomplish at the end of our lives here on earth as the Apostle Paul in 2 Timothy 4, 7 says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Verse 8. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all all them also that love his appearing they love him so much they want him to appear not stay here on earth and live out their lives until they die a peaceful death yeah 
Okay, moving on. The same is true. Now, this is Sarah's words. The same is true of those who falsely claim that the old man is crucified without answering the actual call to follow Jesus in the way of the cross until the following scripture has been fulfilled according to Colossians 3. And please notice that it's a positional truth established through the finished work of his cross, which must then be wrought out in our walk and lives until we can give truthful testimony as overcomers through our cross. Then she put Colossians 3, verse 1. This is 1 through 4. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, for you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Isn't that what we want? That's what we're waiting for. Now, there's a heart here. It says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth for... See, mortify. See, I don't know what verse. Oh, this is. She put a heart, but it should be a five. Okay. So she must be saying, I love this part. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. That's the gay lifestyle. LGBTQ, I believe, is what that means. Evil desire. And covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience, in which you also once walked when you lived in them, but but now you also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy talk out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man that is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. He never instructed us to take up his cross. This is her talking. He, Jesus, never instructed us to take up his cross. He instructed those who want to become like him to take up their own cross. All right, this is Matthew 16, 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. To be saved by the cross unto salvation, and to be slain by the cross to receive the crown of the over overcomer are two very different realities. That's what Sarah put. Let me repeat that. To be saved by the cross unto salvation, and to be slain by the cross to receive the crown of the overcomer are two very different realities. Do you want to just barely get in by the skin of your teeth and possibly not even make it into the kingdom of heaven but be in the outer parts where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth? Okay, let me move on. That was me adding that part. Uh, then she says, oh, Hebrews 12, Philippians 2, and Philippians 3 confirms this. And I put a heart that I love this. I love the word of God, and I like bringing it to you, and I hope that it 
it helps you and that that uh, that you get something out of it or perhaps would consider sharing it with somebody you know that still believes in once saved always saved look at the sun coming in on Jasper isn't that pretty see the sun rays you see that oh that is so cool he's just laying there he does not want to look at the camera hey Jasper can you say goodbye to everybody you want me I give you a treat if you say goodbye you want a treat let's show everybody how you can beg for a treat let's give Jasper a treat because he stood up he loves to beg for a treat that's his favorite thing okay so we're gonna watch Jasper beg for a treat okay you ready Jasper you ready okay he stands completely up get it get it go on get it you can do it you want to jump down all right jump down now stand up there you go little buddy all right so i'm gonna say with that i'm gonna say goodbye for now y'all talk to you again soon glory be to god i hope it's in person